Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I am your teacher, Dr. Irfan Lee, with practical number six, that is maturity indices for different fruits and vegetables. Dear student, we have learned a lot about maturity and maturity indices in the theory section, and now we are going to cover about its practical aspects. Students, there are many types of maturity indices. For example, some are chronological, in which we count number of days either from from flowering or either from fruit set. Secondly, there are some methods which rely on physical characteristics of the fruit. Those are physical maturity indices. For example, size, shape, color, texture, angularity, etc. Similarly, there are third type of maturity indices those rely on chemical basis uh, for their determination for example total soluble solids titrable acidity etc and the fourth one that is physiological methods comprises of different physiological processes being taken place in the fruit for example respiration and ethylene physiological and chemical methods are bit difficult for the layman or farmer to be performed so these can only be performed in the lab or by a skilled person all these methods either individually or even in combination can be used as the maturity indices for various fruits now we will discuss uh, some of the fruits one by one and what are the maturity indices that can be used for uh, to, to assess their maturity to have a better harvest first one is the grape in the grapes the first method that is used as a maturity index is the visual observation that is pulp and peel color most of the color varieties has prominent feature of color change while in some green varieties color change is not a good maturity index number two easy separation of berries from the bunches and the characteristic aroma of the specific variety is an other maturity index that is being used to assess the maturity of the grapes number third is uh, when we are uh, we are proceeding with seeded varieties seeds become dark brown at maturity all the physical maturity indices didn't involve any chemical change or chemical process the second one is is chemical method in which we use refractometer to measure the total soluble solid or bricks of the of the grapes every individual variety has specific tss when it is mature for example thompson seedless should have 19 to 20% of Uh, bricks value when it is mature dear student the second uh, fruit that it, we are going to discuss is mango so the following maturity indices are being used in mango number one is change in shape or you can say that fullness of cheeks in mango is a good maturity index in some varieties second one is change in skin color from dark green to light green or yellow third one is change in flesh color from greenish yellow to yellow or orange fourth one is fruits generally require 95 to 115 days to mature after flowering this is chronological uh, type of maturity index that we have discussed earlier fifth one is days from fruit set that is 110 to 120 days for most of the varieties next one is tss that should be 12 to 15% or bricks next fruit is papaya papaya fruit requires 125 to 140 days from flowering to maturity that is a chronological type of maturity index second one is color of fruit changes from green to pale green or yellowish green at blossom end and the third one is tss at harvest should be minim- minimum 6% or 6 degree bricks dear student next fruit that we are going to discuss is apple in most of the colored varieties of apples fruit color change is a good maturity index if we talk about the days from the first bloom then we can say that the 135 to 150 days from from the bloom is a good chronological maturity index for apple similarly starch iodine test that is a chemical test that is performed for the uh, for the most of green varieties in which color change is not a good in- index of maturity uh, 
स्टार्च आयोडीन टेस्ट इज परफॉर्म्ड टू चेक वेदर द फ्रूट इज मेच्योर और नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट प्लम इन मोस्ट ऑफ द प्लम कल्टिवर्स चेंज इन कलर इज ए गुड इंडेक्स ऑफ मेच्योरिटी वैन वी टॉक अबाउट पीच एंड नेक्ट्रीस स्किन कलर इज ए गुड इंडेक्स ऑफ मेच्योरिटी वैन इट टर्नस फ्राम ग्रीन टू येलो मोस्ट ऑफ द फ्री स्टोन पीचिज फ्रीनेस ऑफ द पिट इज ऑल्सो ए गुड इंडेक्स ऑफ मेच्योरिटी एंड सिमिलरली एटी सिक्स टू वन ट्वेंटी सेवन डेज आर एक्नोलॉजिकल मेच्योरिटी इंडेक्स फॉर फॉर द हारवेस्टिंग ऑफ पीच दैन इज फ्रूट फर्मनेस दैट शुड बी हंड्रेड न्यूटन और टेन पाउंडस पर स्क्र इंच नेक्स्ट फ्रूट इज बनाना फॉर बनाना नाइन्टी डेज फ्राम फ्रूट सेट आर कंसिडर टू बी ए गुड मेच्योरिटी इंडाइस फॉर हारवेस्टिंग सेकेंड वन इज angularity of banana that is also a good uh, maturity index for for this fruit and pulp to peel ratio is also a good maturity index that is being used by the scientist that should be 1.3 to 1.4 at harvest now we discuss about guava guava should be picked at mature green stage when color change from dark green to light green color secondly its specific gravity should be 1 when we talking about days from flowering 120 to 150 days of from flowering is a date of maturity of banana and if when we talk about tss total soluble solids 12 to 14% total soluble solid is a sign that that guava is going to be mature the last fruit that we are going to discuss in in this practical is citrus first maturity index that is uh, being used for citrus is color change that is 75% of surface color change from uh, from green to yellow orange or red depending on the variety second one is tss or brix value that should be 12 to 14% for mandarins 12% or brix for sweet oranges third one is acidity that should be 0.4% for mandarins 0.3% for sweet oranges and fourth one is the juice content that should be 35 to 50% for most of the citrus cultivars